Creating Dodd-Frank was an incredibly complex process. Taking it apart promises to be just as hard. And despite the president's extreme rhetoric about doing a big number on Dodd-Frank, his executive order doesn't quite read that way. In fact, it reads like a measured and even somewhat principled document that proponents of the law, and I mean supporters here, say could lead to some common sense reform. First, I want to show you how incredibly complicated it's going to be. Here is a list, sorry, a partial display of just some of the agencies who will be involved in this. Of course, there's the Treasury. Senate banking, very important. House Financial Services, very important. The, the Federal Reserve could have some kind of conflict here between the Fed and the administration on this. The FDIC is also a bank regulator, as is the Office of the Control of Currency. There's the FSOC, the broad rubric under which a lot of these regulators uh, have met. And don't forget the Bank for International Settlements, which is very important because that's the place where we ensure that our laws are no tougher than other countries' laws as well. The CFTC and the SEC, and you could probably come up with a bunch of other uh, abbreviations and throw them in there in, as well. It was very complicated, all these guys together. It's going to be as, as complicated to get them together to change these rules. Here's some of the players you're going to want to watch. Dan Tarullo, at least for a while, he's the main Fed guy on banking. We will see when and if Donald Trump, the president, uh, appoints a vice chair for banking supervision. Janet Yellen, she is a proponent of Dodd-Frank. She uh, has supported some reforms. We'll see the extent to which, by the way, the Fed has done a bunch of its rules having nothing to do with Dodd-Frank. It did some of its rules before Dodd-Frank even existed, like raising capital standards, right. even the stress test. And then there's Steve Mnuchin, the nominee for the Treasury Secretary, Henserling, and Senator Crapo, maybe the most important person on that board because of what happens at the Senate. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.